Cosplayers, what's one cosplay you will never do again and why? Stormtrooper. It was custom made to fit me and I was so uncomfortable in it. It was hot and I couldn't see. I also would be lucky if I came out of it without cutting myself. Batman. Some kid pulled my cape and it took my helmet and back piece out. They were all one piece of armor and I couldn't put them back together. Not exactly cosplay, but I went to a Halloween party as Waldo once. Terrible idea, everyone wants you hiding in the back of their photos, and you hear ha ha I found you at least 800 times. Never again. Never again will I cosplay full anime plate armor, I went as Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night all 3D printed, 8 unrelenting hours trapped in a plastic cocoon. Skin unable to breathe, pinching, serious chaffing, huge welts and blisters all over and on the way home I turned in a funny way snap went the armor and by that point I had enough I took everything off threw it in the nearest bin and made the remaining journey home barefoot in cycling shorts and a red cape. One of the 300. I'll never be in that kind of shape again. Motoko from Ghost in the Shell in her sack full tech suit gear. Full body suit with Gore-Tex and ended up getting heat stroke in the first 30 minutes. Haven't worn it since set at cosplay tax for those asking HTTPS Not at my desktop so sorry for the low res. Faye Valentine for Cowboy Bebop. Not because of awkward guy comments, but because of other lady cosplayers that would come up to me and talk about how Faye is a good starter cosplay because I guess it's not intricate enough. I got tired of the condescension. Lord Business from the Lego movie. Or actually any Lego character for that matter. The head was too heavy, and I could barely move. Edit, okay wow. I didn't quite expect this comment to get as much attention. But thank you for the gold. Smile. Roar shock. I saw almost nothing under that mask and couldn't enjoy anything. Nami from One Piece, it was a bikini top. Had a nip slip, which wasn't too bad, and a dude jumped in front of me, let me know, and covered me while I fixed it. The problem is that he then spent the next two days thanking me for the experience. Bro. One thank you is weird. Two days? Edit, uh. Thanks for the gold? Master Chief. Every Halloween at school I would wear an over-the-top costume and for my senior year I wanted to go above and beyond. So I worked overtime to buy Halo 4 Master Chief armor. Only problem was that the armor pieces were made of plastic so I couldn't sit completely down without breaking the thigh pieces. So I had to go through every class squatting over my seat instead of actually sitting in it. My legs were killing me at the end of the day. Also my costume was very loud. The sound of plastic rubbing against each other was terrible. Now I usually go for smaller cosplay. This year I went as a vault dweller and I could actually move and stuff. Graffiti skin tracer from Overwatch Paint kept transferring from the gas mask onto my face and my mask was literally dripping water from my breathing. It was hot and stuffy and gross. Edit, I don't know how to add pics on mobile, lame I know, but I'm pretty sure I have some far enough down my Instagram feed burnt waffles cosplay. Darth Vader. Wore it for years in two hour stints. Vision is awful and zero skin is shown anywhere so it's hot. Real hot. Lots of wiring for lights and sound mean there's always something that can, and does, go wrong. Lots of kids coming up and randomly pressing buttons on the chest. Plus the cape is hard to control. Now I keep him permanently displayed on a 6 feet 5 inches mannequin. Edit, clarified that this is not the wrestler by adding Darth. I dressed up in a pun costume that was a mix between Inspector Gadget and a go-go dancer. I was go-go gadget. I had neon fishnets, string lights in my trench coat, light-up glasses, and all these other rave gadgets. I wouldn't do it again, because wearing Heelys for hours tore up my feet. Edit, holy shit, this blew up. I went to work and came back to all this. Most of you want to see the costume. 
I didn't get many pictures, but here's a decent one, httpsmgur.com guy rfxcw. Princess Zelda. I got a lot of compliments, but also an uncomfortable number of guys kept trying to flirt with me. Might have been even weirder if I wasn't a straight dude. Shadow the Hedgehog It was a mistake and I don't think I need to explain further at it. Thanks for the gold. And no I didn't do blackface for those wondering. Professor X, 3 only reason I chose it was because I had torn my LCL and still wanted to attend the event so I rented a wheelchair so I could get around the event. So many people came up and sat in my lap thinking I was just cosplaying as him. Thank goodness my friend's parents lived close and we went and grabbed ice packs that we threw on my knee so people would quit doing it. Snow White. I wore it to a major comic convention and people would not let me walk. Parents were literally shoving their children into my arms and making me take pictures with their kids. Kids were flocking to me, only nice part, and parents were pushing each other around to take a pic with me and their child first. I was trying to take the shuttle to the convention and I had a small crowd around me that would barely shift so I could get into the shuttle. My boyfriend at the time had to literally yank me and run away into the shuttle because we almost missed it. The same thing proceeded to happen in the shuttle, off the shuttle and attempting to walk to the convention, and at the convention. After two more hours of this I demanded we go back to the hotel so I could change and actually enjoy the convention. The worst part was people shouting, it's Cinderella. It's Sleeping Beauty. No people know him Snow White dang it. Charlie Chaplin. Hess easily mistaken for another guy. Edit, Chaplin not Chaplin. Recruit from Rainbow Six Siege. Everyone thought I was a terrorist and had to leave. Hamilton. Turns out prop guns look like guns that are illegal. Especially dueling pistols. Edna, from The Incredibles. I am a short gothic lady and at the time had the same haircut as her. Went as her for a Halloween party and it's my nickname ever since, especially when I'm angry. I docking hate it. Edit, um my first popular comment is about my nickname and I'm freaking out. Also, I hate it because I also see the similarities between us and it makes me mad because I wanted to be Violet when the movie came out. Thanks Reddit. Made a pretty great Solera Vestora costume with real chain mail and armor and holy shit after 6 hours of wearing that heavy ass metal my back, shoulders, and arms were duck and wrecked. Edit, wow, first gold. Praise the sun. Widowmaker. I felt like my tits were gonna pop out of that suit at any second. And the body paint tattoos were always rubbing off cause of the suit and armor. Also. Someone bumped into me and broke the end piece of my gun and a piece of my armor. It was so uncomfortable. Never again. I use a wheelchair and I was a Dalek one year. It was very popular and I had a lot of people wanting pictures but I couldn't fit through doorways and kept hitting people. Edit, THX for the gold, even though you seem like a bot. Edit 2, here are the only two pictures I could find. Picture 1 httpsmgur.com at 4 nt Picture 2 httpsmgur.com Uslanil. It was huge because my wheelchair was huge and it had to fit around all the parts of it, then taper up to be thinner at the top. It was a very fun craft project that took a lot of manpower and time, but in hindsight using cardboard was not the wisest idea because the second any moisture got on it, it lost a lot of its stiffness. Live and learn. Slenderman. I got really into the craze back in the day being a 63 skinny dude, and I thought of myself highly for having been a Marble Hornets fan card before the game was ever released. The issue is that I have a big head nose, so through the morph suit you'd just see all my features, including my dark brown hair and smooshed nose. I ended up having a sore nose for days, and the soles of my morph suit were extremely darkened from walking around in platform boots for hours on end. Lucy hurt Philia from Fairy Tale. So, the costume itself wasn't the problem, it's pretty simple to be fair, but it had other issues. Firstly, 
I have small boobs and the character doesn't. The amount of people that mentioned this was unreal. Secondly, the character wears a very short skirt. I had a few older men follow me and harass me because I was wearing it. Also it was mid-October in the north of Scotland, so it was freezing cold. Edit Clarity Edit 2, thank you all for showing support in our own experiences. You are a good bunch.